You're going to be hard pressed to find women who didn't watch that film and leave and have a crush on Scott McKnight because he's such a <laughs> sweetheart. So I have to know who your inspiration was, past or present, any players, because it's a little bit of a contradiction to the typical bad boy professional athlete. Well, that's one thing that was important to us, you know, even the way the film was written, that we show NBA players, you know, the diversity of NBA players. I mean, People say, oh, NBA players are like this, but I mean, when you meet guys, like, I, I know D-Wade, and, and he's, he's a good brother, he's articulate, he's smart, and you know, he's a good guy. So, we didn't want to portray this player like, like, flashy and just being out there, like, disrespecting women. It was just like, hey, we're gonna show this real guy, and you know, he's going through his trials and tribulations, he's not perfect, but I mean, that was it. And I kind of, I talked to D-Wade a little bit, I talked to um, Baron Davis some, and just, Tried to pick up as much information as I could about being an NBA player. Dwayne Wade and oh, Dwight man. Howard, their uh, acting skills. You're the best oh, good. judge. Yeah, stick to the acting okay. skills. I thought you were about to make me pick. I'm like, don't do it. You're a great judge of how you can transition from one area of entertainment to the other. Do either of these two have a chance in the acting world? Actually, after I, their career? I think they're both. I think they're both great. I think they both do do very well at, at making that transition onto being in front of the camera on the big screen, but I think, you know, Dwight Howard is just so, he's just a big kid in a lot of ways. He's so charismatic. When he came on set, he just brought so much energy to it. You know, he just was so relaxed, and of course he tweeted about it while he was doing it, which was pretty funny to me, but yeah, I think, I think they both definitely have that ability. Dwayne came and brought such a, a natural charisma, and like, I mean, it just was like, I, I was sitting there, actually, I, when we did it, I felt like, you know, when, when you're acting with somebody, you feel like when they're just giving it to you, you just in the moment, you don't have to think. And that's what I felt like with him. I was like, oh man, this, I'm Scott McKnight, he's Dwayne Wade, we're about to play each other. We've been friends. It just felt natural. And, uh, like with, with Dwight Howard, it was a thing like he brought his, his own charm and his own, like, you know, playfulness that he <laughs> brings all the time, you know, to, to a lot of things he does. But one thing I can say about both of them is they, they both, um, brought a natural element to it and you know it's just it's great when you can get that from from an actor you did a great job in your scene Dwayne because you conveyed that while you care about a player off the court you're gonna go and do your best yeah. to beat him on the court <laughs> so it was that a good depiction of how it really is at times it, it was it was so on point you know I, I think myself and LeBron we get a lot of um, rap some time about being about being friends but you know when we get on the basketball court it's, you know, it's 94 feet in between us, and we're, we're both trying to win, and we've shown that. So that was kind of the same thing. You know, we embraced. He didn't, he didn't answer my calls, you know, anything. <laughs> he turned the TV up when I, you know, when he said I called, but uh, it showed when we got on the court. It was competitive, and um, that's what it was about. Now, Dwayne, they love you in Miami, but has this experience broadened your horizons? Los Angeles, New York, do you have a little bit of an acting bug? Will this experience influence your future in basketball? Uh, um... No, it won't. It won't influence my influence in basketball. I mean, that's what I do, um, you know, right there. Basketball is my thing. But um, you know what? Like I said, if somebody sees this film and they think I look good on camera, on the big screen, then they can holler at me. Well, yeah, well, you got <laughs> in whatever city I'm in, they can holler at me. <laughs>